Hello, everyone. This is Rosalind Henderson. I am so stoked to be here today. You're at the three sales tweaks to stimulate cash flow. And again, I'm your host, Rosalind Henderson. This is day two of a three day masterclass that I am hosting to help you stimulate cash fast. fast. Say that several times in a row. <laughs> Day one was absolutely fabulous. It was jammed packed with information. And listen, if you have yet to look at the recording, go ahead and do that. Look at the video because each day is predicated on the other. So this is before you even run a sales call. What I'm sharing throughout the week is going to help you aim for the right target, your right client. So pre-qualify your dream client, it becomes so much easier to sell your product or services. Services. Yesterday, we talked about uh, how to perfect your ideal client's persona. You, again, want to have a real, real deep understanding, and it's always growing, of your prospects, their pain, how they make buying decisions. You want to be able to understand how their issue affects different areas of their lives. What do they uh, value and what do they visualize once they get past their uh, solution? These are the things you need to know because you're going to recycle that and put it in your messaging. It has to be lasered focused messaging. So if you're writing a Facebook post, uh, creating a sales letter, if you're uh, pitching, if you're writing website copy, all of this information is important and needs to be mirrored in your communication. This is what's going to attract your ideal client for you. And by the way, I want you spending less time frustrated, pulling your hair out. I want you to, to stop wasting money. I want you to be less stressed because when you're uh, allowing them to be attracted to you on a regular basis, that means you have to go out there and hunt less for clients and well, again, this was just day one that we talked about these things. So before we get started today, I have a few reminders for you. Um, uh, and I want you to make sure that you're doing your homework because homework and being really involved, getting involved 110%, that's the way, number one, that you're going to learn and internalize this information. I want this to be more than information. I want it to be actionable actionable. And so I'm going to encourage you by putting you in the sweet stakes for this wonderful t-shirt. So the more you do your homework, the more I see you answering questions in the, in the messages and in the comments, then you get to enter the sweepstakes for this wonderful t-shirt. Now, my friend here says that eight figure, an eight-figure income is her birthright go get it. But for the purposes of this webinar, this masterclass, I'm going to make it six figures. Six figures, that's your birthright. Go get it. It's a t-shirt that I designed some two years ago, and you can be in the drawing for that t-shirt. Just work hard and really get this information inside of you so that it can become second nature. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so you understand much more about the ideal client that you serve. You understand their buying patterns, their hopes. You understand their dreams, their challenges. Uh, uh, now it's time to write those compelling messages so that you can magnetize new people into your audience. You've taken notes about how a prospect describes their problem. 
or uh, how their problem affects their relationship, their self-esteem, hobbies, their parenting. Uh, you have all of these notes where you're going to turn them into these impactful messages. They could be Facebook posts, again, blogs, email blasts. They could be part of your web copy, brochure, all communication as it relates to all communication with your ideal client. So I'm going to share with you a very, very basic framework to help you become powerful at magnetic messaging so that you're specifically calling out your dream client. You want to be very specific in doing that. And it all starts with these five steps. Number one is the hook. The hook. Look, there are so many people on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. They're always scrolling. What's going to stop them in their tracks is that you capture their attention. You capture their attention by maybe sharing a startling statistic. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're an owner of a tutoring company. You work with second graders who are struggling in reading and writing. You could have a header that reads, did you know that 33% of second graders are not re ready to read on a second grade level? Is that your child? Woo, imagine you as a parent scrolling through Facebook, running across that headline, you're going to stop in your tracks and you're going to say, tell me more. So it has to be something startling. It could be a statistic. Uh, it could be some very creative angle on a topic that makes someone stop scrolling. Two, you're going to define the problem in your messaging. Once your second grader love to listen to you read, now you're saddened because you see them struggling to read the words on paper. Uh, your child's teacher has confirmed difficulty with reading and writing. She gives your child extra help, but you're seeing little progress. So we define the problem, how it's affecting uh, the child and what it's resulting in. Step three, you're gonna wanna shake up the issue even a little bit more. Why? Because there's so many people who are walking in what I call zombie land. They're unaware of how certain issues are impacting other areas of their lives. It's up to you to be able to connect the dots for them, right? So you're gonna agitate the problem a little bit. So let's continue on with the tutoring example. Now, the child's been in second grade for several months. They state they dislike school. <clears throat> the grades are plummeting. The teacher says that your child is at least two grades below in reading and writing, what are you going to do? Wow, we're talking about how this is worsening, how the grades are plummeting. Two grades behind, that's a lot of catch up work. It's time to take action, that's what we're saying. Then the next step is for you to position yourself and your services as the answer. Imagine your second grade falling, second grader falling in love with writing and reading again. Hmm. That can happen at big dream tutors with former second grade teachers who are now expert tutors. They're one on one, focus on vocabulary, phonemic awareness and writing skills is going to transform your struggling reader into a comfortable and proficient one. Enroll your child in our four month program and watch their grade in language arts 
go up at least one step guaranteed or your money back. All right, let that settle. So here I am building up the issue and how it's causing pains in different areas of your child's life in your life. And now here I am giving you the release. The release is the solution that I provide. I am also, which is and can be very important. I am saying, I am so certain that I can help your child that your child will go up at least a grade in language arts or you get your money back. Then at the end of your communication, your message, you want, right? A call to action. We're asking them to do something as a result of this message. In this case, it would be call now and set up a time for your free 30 minute evaluation for your child. Give your, cha your child a chance to succeed. Uh, then you can give your number, 213-465-1111, okay? So asking them to do something, to take some kind of action now is a way to, to, to get them moving and making some type of, even if it's a little progress towards solving the issue. Now, what I just shared, there's so much more to messaging, but I tell you, this basic framework is going to get you started as you're out there messaging, whether you're writing up a brochure, if you're doing a sales copy, if you're doing a website copy, again, if you're doing a Facebook post, or even if you're doing a webinar, all of this is communication. And where did this communication come from? Well, remember, you spent a lot of hours, right, interviewing. In this case, you would be interviewing parents. You'd be talking to maybe even some second graders. You might even talk to some teachers. You're getting an understanding from all of these different perspectives about reading, the reading problem. And with all the information that you write down and you compile, you're taking it and you are recycling it and putting it back out there into the public. And for those who resonate, because you're tuning for it, those parents who resonate to your message are going to self-select themselves and they're going to have to either call you or they're going to follow you. They're going to enter your Facebook book group. They're going to want to know more information. Putting all of your communication in this step-by-step formula is the best way to uh, reach out to your ideal client. And with that, again, here we are making lead generation so much easier and so much more targeted. This is an important aside that I want to mention. We're on the topic of calling out our preferred client. You want to make sure that you're calling out those who can pay for your services. Now, I've actually created a video on why you want to have a high ticket offer and why you want to make at least $100,000 a year. I have an, a, a video on that. So you can just look up my name and go into to YouTube to find that. So that breaks down to about $8,333 a month. There's a reason for that, especially if you're a full-time business person. Okay. So I'm asking again, that you be intentional in your messaging to convey this. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say 
my pitch is that I work with leaders, coaches who desire regular 10K months without sacrificing family or any other priority. Look at this, okay? Because I'm specifically calling people, I don't wanna work with leaders, I wanna work with coaches, and that's a particular personality type. I also wanna work with those who may be making maybe 5K, 6K, 7K on the regular, but they wanna up it to 10K. Well, the chances are that if I offer a service that is $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, that they will indeed be able to pay for my high ticket offer without a problem. See, I am calling out those who can pay for my services and I present to them my genius. Be aware of who can pay for your services. Um, check this one out. I work with CEO, CEOs who desire to manage stress while increasing their output by 10%. I'm working with CEOs who are more than likely able to pay for my high ticket service, okay? And I'm calling them out. That's the point. I want you to evaluate your messages that you're putting out and ask yourself, is this message calling out the people that I want to work with, people who can pay for my services? We have to be aware of that. We have to scan for that, be able to evaluate who you want to work with. That should be in your messaging. So if there's any questions, what I want you to do is go ahead and put them in the comments and I will swing around and I will answer any questions that you may have on anything that we talked about so far, but especially as it relates to messaging. All right. Moving right along, this is James. James is a solar panel expert and he is one of my clients. He entered into my program absolutely frustrated. Yes, pulling his hair out because it had been eight months since he made a sale. Ouch. So we spent time analyzing his sales approach. We know that he needed a lead generation system. I often suggest to my clients that there are at least three uh, ways to generate leads and they stick to that Monday through Friday. So we built that for him. We looked at the gaps in his uh, selling system. We also looked at some of his attitudes because he looked at sales as something uh, like a checklist where he just checked off the things that he needed to do to make a sale. Well, we needed to get a little bit more deeper to, to that. So we changed some of our attitudes about sales. And we did a lot of role play playing until he got comfortable. Now, what is so exciting that with just a month's worth of training, James was able to close a 38 thousand dollar sale it was such a victory that we hooted and we hollered and we clapped and we danced because i get really excited about your success your success is my success and this story leads beautifully into the next topic that can help you generate cash faster and that is a very important lead generation hack. Now, before I get into this generation, uh, this lead generation hack, let's backtrack for a moment and talk about what we did discuss so far. We know about always being focused on our client's persona. We want to know them better. 
and better. We want to be able to clearly articulate how we can solve their problems. Um, and so, so with that said, you're going to know how they buy. You're going to know what's top of mind for them. You're going to know about their lifestyles. You're going to know a lot about them. And as you build your knowledge about them, you're through, right? We learned about uh, basic marketing research. Now we take that information and we build these target messaging. We just talked about how to use that framework to build targeted messaging. Why? Because the ideal is to keep bringing new, fresh, qualified leads to draw them into reading our blogs, to draw them into our Facebook group or Instagram, to have them become part of our audience so that we can nurture them and keep teaching them. And so we can eventually sell easily to them. All right. This is going to save you again, a lot of time. It's going to save you money and it's going to save you frustration. So here's the hack that I want to share with you. Connect to influential people. When I say influential people, I'm talking about the people who are well connected. Have you ever heard of the concept six degrees of separation? And the ideal there is that we know up to five to six people who is connected to people we want to be connected to. Hey, yeah, you might be able to talk to a Barack Obama or, or a King Charles, who knows? But whatever the case, here's the point, uh, that the well-connected, the influential, they know, know scores of people or they know people who may know people who has our audience be for them and they can make connections for you, which means that you're getting to your audience faster by leveraging relationships around you. Again, I'm gonna ask you to be intentional. Think of the well-connected people you're already kind of know. You just might be out of touch with them, but you, you have a sense of them. Create a list. Maybe there's past supervisors or old clients, pastors, principals, owners of businesses. Hmm. I oftentimes will pair up with a number of referral partners who run a business alongside mine. So I'm a sales trainer. So I'm, I have a number of bookkeepers that we, we do exchanges. We do a referral exchanges, or I might exchange with a copywriter. What about presidents of chambers of commerce or mm, council people? Maybe it's members who sit on boards or committees of professional organizations. We know so many more people than we actually think. And what's interesting about this is that because your influential person is an endorsement, right, for you, that becomes a warm lead. You don't have to warm these people up. They already have good feelings towards you because the influential person says, hey, that Rosalind, hey, that Joan, hey, that Thomas, you got to check them out, okay? Or if you're really gutsy, like I am at, at times, I will even cold email thought leaders, authors. Um, I actually reached out to Seth Godin. You know, he's a New York Times bestselling uh, guru on marketing. I reached out to him. I've read just about every book that he's written. And I told him that. And I told him about the effects that his book books have had on my personal and my professional life. And I asked him to consider being on my podcast. So I sent it out there, you know, didn't know if he was going to respond or not. Well, can I tell you that when 15, in, within 15 minutes, he 
actually responded and said, I'd love to be on your podcast. Oh my gosh, that was one of the best times ever interviewing Seth Godin, people from my audience asking questions. It raised my brand awareness and I was able to sell some products. So again, think about thought leaders. Think about those who have amassed a big audience. Maybe you want to even look at uh, Facebook um, owners of uh, pages and of groups. And maybe you want to have a coffee chat with them to build relationship. Okay. Um, so with this said, I want you to even consider this. I'm reading a book by Russell Brunson, who is a a, a giant when it comes to marketing. He even talks about creating a dream list of a hundred people. And guess what? His dream list is it, it consists of all the influential people that he wants to get to know. And he deals with that list exclusively exclusively if they're dropping a comment on Facebook, he's responding. He's looking for ways to add value to their lives. And the momentum is building and building until he's able to ask uh, a, a favor. And he has seen his sales skyrocket as a result. There's so many ways to work with influential people to become part of your sales force. And by, by doing this, you can easily double, double your impact and double your income. So here's an exercise. I'm actually gonna make this your homework. And so you, I'm gonna ask that you put this in the homework thread. I want you to take a minute and I want you to write down the names of a list, at least three. We're just getting you jump started. Okay. I want you to think of three influential people that you can reconnect with. And you can do this through an email, going through the DMs on Facebook. You can call them, you can text them. So write down the names of those three people and put it underneath the homework thread. Now, to help you along, I've created a template for an email, an email that you might want to send to someone with whom you're disconnected to, but you wanna reconnect. And you can use this if you want to, some parts of this for, for a DM or a text, and uh, however you want to connect yourself. And it just reads, dear blank, I hope you're well. It's been a while since I've spoken with you. I'd like to reconnect. I love to know what projects you're working on. I also like to share what I'm doing. Let's see if there's any way we might collaborate. Would you be open for a 15 minute chat? I have Monday, June 5th open between 10 and 12 p.m. or June 7th between 10 to 12 p.m. Please let me know what works for you. Have a great day. And then you sign your name. Simple template. You're using the name of, of the person that you want to reconnect with. You're acknowledging that it's been a minute since you've talked. You might have to jog their memory so that they can remember you. And uh, you're just being honest. I want to know what you're doing. I want to share with you what I'm doing and what's going to sell this appointment. If you're going to do a coffee chat or talk to them on the phone is that it's a short period of time. Most people can give you 15 minutes. It's amazing. You'll be amazed at how generous a lot of influencers are. Just just this 15 minutes of your time. And to nail down a date and time, you give them about a couple of options. You see, I'm available on the 5th, I'm available on the 7th, between this time and that time, 
what works for you. And then you just sign, have a great day. But this is a template that, that works very well. And again, again, you're going to be surprised at people, the people who do respond. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Again, do you have any questions about this, about how to interact with influential folks? Needless to say, that's just one tip. And I have so many strategies when it comes to lead generation and putting your lead generation machine together so that leads and struggling with leads are a thing of the past. Ask your questions, put them in the comments, and I promise to circle back and answer anything that you ask. All right, so what did you learn today? I hope it was a whole lot, right? So I gave you a, free, a framework that is going to help you create these sizzling messages that attract your ideal client to you. You want your audience being able to pay attention, stop the scroll on social media and look at your message. Okay, so now lead generation has just got gotten a little bit easier because of that. And it's even easier still because I've given you a very big hat and we go more deeply into, into, into it in our mega sales program, but you understand the importance of connecting to influential, well-connected people who knows someone who has your audience, is connected to your audience. And so these are the people that we want to focus on because you get more bang for your buck. We're leveraging community. We're leveraging relationship. We're leveraging others. We're giving value. We're receiving value. And when we do that, we are cutting down on the isolation and the hustle that oftentimes so many business people express, you know, the hustle and the grind. We're cutting that back, we're reducing that because we're employing people uh, who are by us to help us. So get in contact with those that you've fallen out of contact with and begin to build those relationships. You want referrals. All right. And for today's homework, I asked you to come up with just three names. And you can even put in their industry, three people that you need to contact. Uh, contact. These can be influencers, okay? Influencers who have access to a number of people. Put those names in uh, underneath the homework chat. I'm going to check it out uh, because this is a faster path to cash, this is a faster path to income and a faster path to impact. So, oh, and again, I want to remind you, remind you to do your homework, to throw yourself 110% into this because I want you learning, learning, learning. And I want you to enter into that sweepstakes so you can be a winner of that t-shirt that we discuss six figures is your birthright. Go and get it. Until next time, everyone, peace and blessings. Bye-bye for now.